I am so enjoying this walk. I've put my hat on now. There does seem to be some mist blowing that way. I could get it back, but at the moment I've put my hat on while the mist is out of the way. Just give my head a little bit of a warm up. Because the the hat attached to my coat is very baggy, it's, whereas the hat fits nice and snug over the ears, over the forehead. It's nice and dry, but I'll put it away again if the mist descends. Now over there we've got pretty barrows. That's another walk I tend to do sometime in the winter, but mainly when I had Alberta. I would park at pretty and then walk up there and go over to the minories and the forest. It still might be able to be done. I still might walk across the field yet when I get through this gate up here. I'm, I might head down through the field because I do like that walk. At the moment there's a brief window where I can see right across. I just got to pick up the right field that I'm supposed to be looking at. Uh, I should, it's probably somewhere over there, just to see if I can see any cows. Yeah, there's the barn. Let's recognise the barn. So this is a big, big field. The cows have got a lovely, big, huge space here um, to roam. And I think they've taken down a wall there to give them more space. And there's all over there. More enclosed in there. Pretty's over there. And for now, a brief respite, but I don't know whether that lot is coming, but behind it there is clear, clear air as well. So we just make the most of um, a bit of clear air while I can, but I think it is changing and that could be rain coming. Could be. Could be. I'm just... That big bang was, if you heard that on the video, that was um, Cheddar Quarry. I just want to zoom in over there by that copse. Of course the viewfinder's playing up. I can't really see, on it? If there's anything there, any cows there. So when my viewfinder is really good behaving, I can see right over there. I've got a feeling the mist might be coming down again. Only for a short while. while. Keep this warm hat on, just cover it up for a minute. Right, over and out for a minute. Had zoom on then. I got a feeling that is coming my way, but behind it there's clear sky. So I just um, protect the hat a bit. I don't really want to take it off, but I don't want it damp either. If it gets really misty, I'll put it away again. It's lovely and comforting to put it on nice and dry. Over and out, more video. Battery's about to go. But this is where I've, I've been really wanting to walk, folks. I could have come down through that field there. I have done that before. Come through and come over this way. But I wanted to come through here because this, this is where I can't walk in the summer because they have massive herds here. Really, really big herds, and you know, it's loads of them. <sighs> Evidence of them everywhere, actually, where they sit and graze on the hill. And but this is one of this is just one of the fields that I've really loved walking over, and that's a lovely walk up through there as well. By the way, beautiful walk up there, and here's this massive stone stile that I'm going to climb over now. It's very muddy and it's very slippery, so we've got to be careful. And of course, then they put a bloody great big fence there as well to climb over. You've got like a double flipping style to climb. Let's put that there a minute. 
will I get over? This is Sheila. 3rd of February 2022. On a grey, wet day on the Somerset Hills. A grey, wet day. And now I've got to climb over this bit, so I'm going to put, the, put it up there again. And I climb over this bit. everyone. Drink up your cider. I don't think, I, I've had that on video recorder, but I don't think it recorded me climbing over that stile or anything else when I said, hey, this, the beautiful countryside. I'll just do that bit again. And here we are again. Cider, folks. I don't know. Like I, said, I don't know if, if that recorded. My feet are absolutely soaked. By the way, these boots will be thrown out very soon. I've kept them. I've kept them for this winter, and I'll probably dry them out, put new insoles in them. And only use them now on dry, definitely dry days. But it could be a dry day, but you're walking through a wet field. Battery's about to go any minute. That's all got a history up there, that clump there. Um, I can't remember what up, but it's some sort of structure. It could be an old barrow, you know, burial ground. I'm heading over there for the stile, and I'll pick up a little lane. Then I'll be going across some big fields over that way, where in the past I've been chased by our friendly cows. Cows I love, by the way. It's not worth someone saying, oh, they would never eat you, they're probably just being uh, friendly. And I think, well, I'm not going to wait to find out. Do you know what I mean? I never used to be, for over 60 years, I was never worried by cows, right? To put it that way. It's only been in the past five years that I've had this issue. I've been, I, I've, I've been chased before. Not, the thing is, I always keep away from them anyway, but they, they, they will, they, they will, they are attracted to you. It's a bit boggy there, isn't it? So that's a little area. Let's just look back again, folks, before the battery goes. Over and out for a minute. Take a